Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, risk seems to be uh, kind of back off the table in the short term as yesterday's riot on crude oil has really spooked the markets, coupled with some kind of dire uh, macro data coming out of China and Japan on Monday has caused this sell-off there in the equity market. So you can see there's a bearish engulfing pattern on the US 30 that's followed through to today. We're touching that 21 period SMA almost uh, now eyeing up next potential support at 17,738. Moving swiftly on to the UK 100, you can see there again, that's a very aggressive downwards uh, candle right there. Again, bullish engulfing pattern, breaking below the 21 period SMA, breaking below 66.86. And now we've got to be looking at 65.89 as the next potential support level. We might not be getting our uh, Santa Claus rally after all. Looking at Japan 225, we saw a big reversal in Japanese yen last night as people started buying safe haven assets and gold also spiked. Uh, Japan 225 now getting closer or closer to 17,496 rather than to its resistance at 18,306. Um, after the kind of massive sell off, it's not that surprising. This actually be quite a good springboard there for Japan 225, but things do turn themselves back around. But the pressure's on already today's candle. Uh, tried to move into posit was in positive territory and got pressured right back down again. So we're now into negative. Looking at that uh, dollar yen, uh, obviously we, we had such a great session there, uh, getting up to 21.80 at one point. Uh, another big sell off, another move to the downside, eyeing up 118, basically 119. Um, and you know, people are buying yen as a safe haven. So the cause of all this is poor old crude oil, uh, which is really uh, kind of shaking people up there a little bit in regards to how aggressively it's getting sold. So it dropped, dropped about 4% yesterday, it's down again today. Uh, we're currently trading at 62.67. Next potential support is at $59.50. Uh, and Brent's also come off quite aggressively as well. So um, this should be a bit of a boon for, um, for, for global markets. But you take this and you couple it together with the fact that the Fed are re-examining interest rates in the US, that does tend to freak people out a little bit. So um, what people, what kind of analysts are swirling about it there is that the Fed is reserving its right to revise its uh, is current kind of uh, rhetoric, uh, so perhaps an interest rate hike in mid-2015 is not impossible. This seems to happen whenever a good bit of information comes out, but the markets are reacting in kind. So looking at gold there to finish things up, we did have a, a kind of a reversal of fortunes there, uh, trading above the 55 period SMA, 1218 is the next potential resistance. Um, safe haven buying, yen's probably a little bit more attractive because it's already come off so much, so there's a little bit more uh, oomph there. Uh, yen against the, uh, the New Zealand dollar, or yen against the Aussie dollar is particularly good. Um, some really big moves there, um, obviously considering how, how weak those, uh, especially the Aussie dollar is in the wake of uh, the potential Chinese slowdown. So very interesting uh, moves to uh, to keep your eye on if you're interested in the world of FX. So looking at your dollar, uh, the USD took a bit of a, a breather yesterday. We've had a little bit of a reversal, but potential uh, resistance is at one spot, 23.67, which is broken support. Uh, that could be an interesting retracement level. Uh, after all, the Eurozone has not mended itself overnight, and obviously everything's still looking good in the US. Um, looking at GBP USD, we did have a, a very similar picture. We're back above potential uh, support at one spot, 55.99, or one spot, 56. Uh, looks like we could be capped by that. 21 period SMA there anyway. And let's have a look at the economic data. Nothing much due out today, to be honest. All medium impact levels. We talked about this yesterday. There's nothing tomorrow either, apart from Chinese CPI. That could add a little bit more pain uh, to the markets. And we've seen some really big moves in the Japanese and the Chinese market markets over the last couple of days. Um, the China A50, I can see here, has come off over 6%. Uh, so that gives you, it was already up about 5% yesterday, just to put that into context. But very, very volatile session over in the Asian markets. And you have to fast forward onto Thursday before you can get retail sales and unemployment claims. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.